Have you been asked to divide a polynomial by a monomial and not know what is being asked of you or how to go about it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco. And I'm going to show you how to do this in an easy way. But first, I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now, back to the video. A, let's talk about the terminology first. Polynomial just means multiple terms. Poly meaning many, many terms. So a term in algebra is something separated by a plus or minus sign. So in this case, we got 6x minus 1. So on top here, we have two terms. The 6x is a term and the minus, the minus 1. This is a term as well. So since there's two terms here, this would be called a binomial. It also is a polynomial because there's many of them, but it's more specifically a binomial. Here we have a two and an X, but there's no pluses or minuses separating it from anything else. So this is a monomial, mon meaning mono meaning one, like, like stereo would be two, mono would be one. So we have monomial dividing into a polynomial. I'm going to show you something with more terms than this in a moment, but let's do the first one and see what the answer is. All we're going to do is let's separate each of the terms and keep and have each one over what is underneath it. So we're going to do 6x and we're going to divide that by 2x. Let's just real quick talk about terminology for a moment. This top thing is technically called a dividend. And the thing on the bottom is called a divisor. It's not super important that you know that. You might not need that for uh, solving this. You can find this without knowing that, but you may hear those terms thrown around. And that way you will know what it is. And when we get done dividing it, our answer is going to be the quotient. A quotient is the answer to a division problem. And there might be a remainder. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But anyway, so we've got, I've written the 6x over the divisor 2x. There's another term here, and I want you to always add the next term, regardless of what the sign is here. Here's a pro tip. Always add the next term. And the next term in this case is minus 1. And we're going to, again, put it over the same divisor 2x. So this divisor has been split and it's been repeated and that's okay. And we've got the plus sign even though this is a minus because we've got the minus up here. Had it been a positive then we would still add and we would just have the positive sign up there. So far so good. All right let's look at the next step. We can now uh, see if there's anything we can reduce. In this case, we know that the 2 will divide into the 6 evenly, right? 2 goes into 2 one time, and 2 goes into 6 three times. So I can reduce this to be 3. And we know that x over x, anything over itself, is 1. So I can cancel those out. So I'm left with 3. So this is a 3, because everything else is canceled out. And plus nothing can be divided here, right? There's nothing that the two doesn't go into the negative one evenly and there's no x's for the x to go into. So I'm just left with negative one over two x. And this is actually the answer to this. And you will see that this part here is in the form of, this is sort of dealing with the remainder this here is the what would be known as the quotient. This is the quotient, and this part is the remainder, but it's only the top. Because if you remember, if you've seen in some of the other videos where we do this, where we've got the divisor still on the bottom, the top is the remainder. So I would write this finally as 3 remainder 
negative one, and I would I wouldn't show the divisor. So there's actually two different ways I could write this answer. I could write it as three plus negative one over two x. That's one way of writing the answer. Or I could write it as three remainder negative one. They both might be useful in dis different circumstances. If you're finding this type of material helpful, please give us a thumbs up and that would really help with the YouTube algorithm. Let's take a look at uh, the next problem. This is truly a polynomial because there are many terms up here. This is a term, this is a term, this is a term, and that's a term. So there's one, two, three, four terms up here, and they're separated out by addition and subtraction. But yet on the bottom, I still have just one term because there's no addition or subtraction. So this is a monomial. So it's a polynomial divided by a monomial. I'm going to rewrite this the same way as I did up here, separating out each of the terms with the same divisor on the bottom. I'm going to do it over here just because I can spread it out a little bit more, but I could have done it equal over here. So it equals, and it's going to equal to x cubed over 2x squared. And remember what did I say? The important pro tip is always add the terms regardless of the sign here. So I'm going to write this, this term on top here, negative 4x squared all over 2x squared. Our pro tip is I'm going to write the next one as addition. And I've got 5x on top. And I've got 2x squared on the bottom. And again, using our pro tip, I'm always going to add it, even though I've got a negative term up here, negative 3, and again, over the same 2x squared. So we've repeated our divisor each time. So far, so good. Now let's let's do a little simplification. All right, so there's remember there's an invisible 1 in front of any x that doesn't have anything showing there. There's an invisible 1. So this just becomes one half. And I've got x cubed over x squared. And we know that all I do is take this power and I subtract that power. If you don't remember how to do that, I've linked a video up here talking about the quotient rule. So this becomes x and it's really just to the one power, but I don't, you don't usually write the one. So it's one half x. And then I can do negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and add, of course, negative 4 over 2. 2 goes into 4 two times, so it's negative 2. And x squared over x squared cancel out. So I've got that so far. Then here, I'm going to add this next term. I can't divide, uh, well, I can divide 2 into 5. I can't do it evenly. So I'm going to leave that. And likewise, because my x here is a lower power than the one on the bottom, there's nothing more I can do with that one. So x to the fifth over 2x squared. And we probably will wind up with the same thing here. The negative 3, 2 will not go into it evenly. And there's no x's. So I'm just going to rewrite this as 3 over 2x squared. Now let's do the next step and let's clean up things a little bit more. I've got 1 half x, and I'm adding a negative, so I'm just going to clean that up as to say negative 2. And I'm going to add to it, and I've got the same, of course, divisor for both of these, and I couldn't reduce it anymore, so I'm just going to combine them on top here, 5x minus 3. So I've just combined them in under one line with one line and put the divisor here, 2x squared. So that it should be our final answer. So our final answer should be 1 half x minus 2 plus 5x minus 3 over 2x squared. That's our answer. And I could also write it in a remainder fashion. So I could say the answer is also 1 half x minus 2 with a remainder. And remember, the remainder isn't all of this. It's just what's on top. 
another pro tip it's always just what's on top 5x minus 3. That will become important later when you start dealing with things such as the remainder theorem, which would be the subject of another video. You don't want to miss that, so go ahead and subscribe right now and click that notification bell so you won't miss any more videos. Thank you.